welcome into this week's edition of Rolling with Stone, our actual final edition of the 2015 season. Another successful campaign for the Red Raiders. I'm joined by head coach Tom Stone. Coach, it's been a few weeks removed from a tough second round loss to Auburn. When you look back on the season as, as a whole, what are your thoughts? Well, I think it was a season where we knew we had graduated some tremendous players. There were a lot of questions at the beginning of the year as to who would emerge from the upperclassmen to play big roles. And there were a lot of questions about how those 14 freshmen would integrate themselves into this program. And I kept telling you, and we talked about as a staff every week, that we felt our best soccer would be end of October, early November. And uh, we cut it pretty close, but that is what happened. And uh, this team really came together towards the end of the Big 12 season. I think our role started right out there at the John Walker when uh, we took on Kansas towards the end of the year, went up to Iowa State, won again on the road, and then got on a roll in the Big 12 tournament. The NCAA tournament was great, another awesome home win. You know, we're undefeated at home in the NCAA tournament. And then, you know, we played a great team in Auburn. And, uh, you know, they deserved the win on that day. We were disappointed. We felt like that was a winnable game for us. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's never fun to close out your year. But from where this team started and where it ended, uh, we couldn't be more proud of the Big 12 championship that we won and also just the way the, the team came together as, as we got down the stretch. Can you say enough about this graduating class and really the legacy that the likes of Janine Becky, Allie Murphy, Hannah Devine, Katie Heap have left on this program? It's tough to put into words because before they got here, we had not made the NCAA tournament. And I remember telling the upperclassmen when that class arrived, I said, look, you're going to make the NCAA tournament this year based on the fact that this class gives us what we've always needed. We've needed uh, a real soccer brain like, you know, Katie Heap has, and a rhythm player and a dynamic midfielder like Ali Heap. And we'd never had the goal scorer like Janine Becky. I mean, Jessica Fuston scored a lot of goals here. Don Ward scored a lot of goals here. But Janine was that elite level front runner that we needed. Brianna Romer had a tremendous career here and was hampered by injuries late, but you know, Bree had some amazing moments for us down the stretch. Uh, against West Virginia, she was tremendous in the Big 12 tournament, great again in the NCAA tournament. So that whole class, and there was a lot of them, really contributed to you know, what this program has become over the last four years. And you and this senior class really grew the program together. Announced this week you are the Central Regional Coach of the Year. What does that mean to you and to Texas Tech? I mean, I think it's recognition for all of us. I think it's a, it's an odd feeling because I think there's other times when maybe we might have been more deserving, where we really had to coach them up and get more out of a group that maybe had less. This group had a lot. And I told the young ladies, I said, look, it's really tough to live up to expectations. And there's a lot of expectations on this team. And you won the, the Big 12 tournament, and you went to the second round of the NCAA tournament, so you really did live up to expectations. And that may be where the award comes from, but the one thing that we know in college athletics is this isn't a head coach's award. I mean, Neil was fantastic as our first year assistant. You know, um, Bree Young did a great job keeping us organized and keeping us together. Gibbs Keaton, a phenomenal job as an assistant coach, a scout, and a tremendous mentor to our goalkeepers. And everybody that helped this team from, you know, our managers and our staff and all the people that support us. I mean, you really just can't move a team forward at this level without a bunch of people doing well. So I'm glad that we were recognized for that. You guys close out the semester, girls are wrapping up um, the academic side, but where do you kind of go from here moving into the off season and then to spring ball with the returners and, and any newcomers you do have coming in early? You know, everyone knows that you make your season really in the spring and you can't uh, cram. You know, you can't get to April and be like, oh, how are we gonna play next fall? I mean, it really starts now. I mean, next year is January 1, if you wanna look at it that way not just on the calendar, for your team. And this will be one of our hardest, this will be one of our most extensive springs because a lot of these freshmen that got bits and pieces, like Amargo, they're gonna play a lot. Fernando, they're gonna play a lot. They're gonna get their chance and, and uh, across the board, those girls are gonna get their chance to, to be impactful next fall. And I reminded this class that only Janine, Becky, and Hannah Devine from this senior class were the only ones that started as freshmen. So what you saw as seniors with five or six of them starting, that's not how it began. So our freshmen uh, will get their chance to play six college games and be ready for next fall. Well, it is tough to say bye to a lot of those seniors, but one still a chance to make her mark nationally, although she already has. But Janine Becky up once again for the Matt Herman Trophy. You can vote for that at TexasTech.com. In words, what would you say to get people to maybe log on and vote and, and really push Janine to the forefront of that award? Well, I think if Red Raider fans can get, you know, um, 
Raider Red in the running a couple years ago with our frantic voting. I think we can certainly get behind one of our top athletes. And, you know, Texas Tech fans are unique in that they are so loyal and they don't care if it's women's tennis, women's soccer, men's golf, you know, football and basketball. They get all about their teams that are winning. And this is a young lady that has a chance to represent us at the highest level in terms of individual awards. Um, I think she'll be a great pro, as I think will some of our other seniors, Allie Murphy, Katie Heat. These are young ladies that can continue their soccer careers. But for Janine to be in the final group of semifinalists for the best players in the country, that's a huge feather in the cap for our program and for the whole athletic department. So certainly, we want everybody to get out there and vote for her. Coach Stone, as always, I appreciate it. It's been a great season, and we will see you next year.